Hello everybody! Welcome to Draw With Me Kids Edition episode... Do you know? 50. 50. We're going to do shamrocks and leprechauns today. And we're also celebrating something, aren't we? Yep. What are we celebrating? One year anniversary. One year with you guys. We hope you've had a lot of fun drawing stuff with us from whales to shamrocks. And well, I know that that one year anniversary might have a lot of uh, other feelings associated with it because it's also tied into one year of Colin. pandemic. But uh, we're going to continue to be here and continue to do drawings for you guys with you guys every week. So let's get our pens, pencils, and papers, erasers. Oh, don't forget the erasers, and let's go. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. We're doubling up, like oh. always. Are you mm -hmm. kidding me? <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. So today we're going to do shamrocks and we're going to do um, leprechauns. But first I wanted to show you guys this flashback, this way back machine to a year ago. We did blue whales and narwhales. And this is the very first Draw With Me Kids sheet that I did. Last week, we did Super Mario for Mario Day. There's Miss Rainbow's Mario and Princess Peach and Yoshi. Here's my Mario. Mario and Mario and Luigi. So we had a lot of fun last week doing that. And this week, we hope you have lots of green ready. And we have a happy St. Patrick's Day to... E and J. We're back to our usual. So Miss Rainbows is doing her traditional bit and I am doing on the computer, doing it on the computer. We've got our green or at least what little bit of green we have to wear today. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves today too. I'm having a little bit of fun. You probably notice I've got glasses now. I might have noticed that last week. But it's helped me see my screen better. Because I'm getting old. That We've talked about this ten times already. <laughs> That's my reaction to wearing that. So I'm going to grab my green here because what are shamrocks without green? Shamrocks are really cool. We actually have a shamrock plant and it looks, our traditional shamrocks that we, we think about when we see drawings are actually draw a heart shape upside down. So you got one. Draw a heart shape on an angle. Never close on the on the point. Just bring them all together. And a third heart shape. Just like that. And I draw two little lines kind of coming from the middle to give that idea that they're all coming together. That's what you traditionally think of when you see a shamrock. Or you think of a shamrock. But our plant, you're already started ahead of things, aren't you? Wanna show you your shamrock? You're also eating your apples. Okay. I'm done. I have my tea. You're done your apples. You know what? I don't think I have any, uh, I don't think I have any lucky trivia today. <laughs> That's fine. So this is what we typically think of a shamrock. So it's just three, if you think about drawing three hearts without the points, you can bring them all together. And that's the easiest way to do shamrocks. But I have, a painting that I did recently where I decided I wanted to do something that looked a lot like our shamrock plant. And our shamrock plant actually doesn't look like this at all. It looks like this. So each leaf is like a triangle. With a little triangle on divot on it. And can you guess what color our shamrock is? I'll give you a hint. It's not green. <laughs> she says she's giving it a hint. Give me a hint. It's not green. Hmm. It's not green. It's true. It's actually one of my favorite colors. That's another big hint. 
Dark Shamrock is actually a maroon color. I know. It's weird. It's kind of neat. And it's, uh, but like all plants, shamrocks come in different sizes mm -hmm. and shapes and colors. So they sort of grow little tiny flowers like that on t really thin, long stems. So that's what our shamrock looks like. So when I think of shamrocks, I think of more of these flat ones. Same idea. And what is really special about a shamrock? How many leaves does a shamrock have? I think it's kind of obvious, isn't it? The way I'm drawing them. Uh, we three leaves, three petal, three leaves. Oh, I have a cool fact, totally off topic, but did you know that a butterfly, you know how many wings a, a butterfly has? That is a little off topic, but I, I am curious. How many it wings does trivia. that have? I'll take it. Does a butterfly have two wings, oh. four wings, or eight wings? Eight. Whoa. Kicked you guys, sorry. You're kicking our friends before they can even figure out the answer. What would you think? What do you think? Well, I'm going to guess, because I don't know the answer to this, four wings. That's my guess, because I draw fairies, and I draw fairies with four wings. That's my guess. So our next thing we're going to draw, along with our beautiful shamrocks. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Our shamrock drawing was really easy. That's what I like about drawing easy shapes using our heart shapes or curves maybe you can even call them number threes there's so many ways you can call these shapes that you can use that you might be more familiar with like a number three there's a number three and another number three and another number three and then we've got yet another type of way to do a shamrock I like simple shapes. So, what are we gonna do next? Next we're gonna draw a leprechaun. And leprechauns, like people, come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. They're called the little folk, right? Yeah. Fairy folk. And leprechauns are often, when we think about them in our books, they have, uh, well, they can have round bellies. I like to draw mine with slightly round bellies. So I'll draw a circle to start off with the body and finish off my shape, my bean shape. So I've got a bigger tummy on this guy. I do a little girl leprechaun fairy on the top. And I draw a circle for his head or her head. I think this guy is going to be a gentleman leprechaun. And often when we think of leprechauns that we see in the store, on posters, or in cards, they're wearing jackets. So I'm going to make this guy with his jacket open. Slightly, his belly is just sort of sticking out of his jacket. And there is his belt. And they wear shorts. So you can see the legs. And I find that doing Fun leprechauns. I like to think of them as playful and childlike. So I try to make all of my leprechauns a little bit like big kids. Oh. And I did a leprechaun for stickers for this month. Ooh, check them out on Patreon. Yep, they're on Patreon. Coming to this store for next uh, next year's St. Patrick's Day, but if you're a patron, you get them sent to you. I'm going to give them big cheeks. 
I'm going to give them little pointy elven ears. I like to give my leprechauns pretty big nose and little eyes. I like to give them either a bowler hat, which is how you see them a lot in. I'm usually a top hat. Top hat? I'll give them a top hat then. How's that? Usually I'm wearing a top hat like this one on our as a picture in our class and he's wearing a top hat. Oh, give this guy a top hat. Just like our lessons from learning how to do a witch's hat, you want to make sure the hat brim is big enough to fit the head. And settle on the head and rest mm -hmm. on the ears. Mm -hmm. I like to give them sort of lots of wild hair, like, you know, they dress like they've got human traits, but they also live in the wild, so. I will tell you guys the answer. Yeah, I want to know the butterfly answer. To the butterfly. You got it right. It is four wings on the butterfly. Even though it looks like two wings, they're actually split in here. half in the middle, where you see it kind of curving like the top of a heart. Sometimes they're the bigger and the smaller. Right in the middle, the wings are actually split, wild. so it's actually four wings. Actually, four wings. Cool. Top wing and the bottom wing. This is kind of, this is turning out to be a very weird leprechaun. That's okay. Because what are we going to do? What's our one rule? Two rules. Two rules. What are two rules? You know them. Rule number one. <laughs> Mistakes are beautiful oopsies. Yep. What's the second one? And the second one is be nice to yourself, your artwork, and your and other people. So, I'm going to be kind to my artwork. Although he looks a little bit odd. He looks a little bit odd. He's still pretty cool. Right? Yep. i got to put his boots on. His buckles. It's another thing you sometimes see on leprechauns. Belt buckles. These big shiny gold buckles. What else are leprechauns known for? I think they made him a little bit. Here, let me change you just a little bit. Made him a little tall, I think, too. What if I did that to him? Mm -hmm. What else do leprechauns have? I'm missing his belt. <gasps> He's got a belt! That would be a good thing. So you see the big shiny gold buckle? What else do leprechauns have? Well, le leprechauns like to protect and people want to kind of Indole. steal. Right. So usually they have a little pot of gold. Which you can draw with a circle. And a straight line across the top. It has two little rounded triangles that gives you sort of like a cauldron look. You can erase it if you'd like to give it that look. I put two little circles on the bottom to give the feet the cauldron to stand on, and then I just sort of draw a little line, sort of half curved lines to suggest all that gold. So those are kind of neat traits of leprechauns. We see a lot of in cartoons and pictures and stuff. I think I like all of the Teen Titans jokes about Robin being secretly being a leprechaun and how he likes to deny that. <laughs> Poor Robin. I think it's pretty funny. I 
I'm drawing, I'm going to color it now. Okay, you give it a color. Wow, is that, wow. I like that you've drawn a rainbow leading to the shamrock and all this gold is shimming around. I like that. I like your leprechaun. The leprechaun fairy. I'm going to make this it. top hat just a little taller. She's left her little carriage. She's supposed to be riding in the carriage, but she's left it to see the shamrock. Oh my goodness! I love it. And that's what I mean by leprechauns can be whatever you want to make them into. There are some things that we think about when we think about leprechauns. And the image and the colors and how we imagine them to be, but they can be anything you want in your own imagination and drawing. In fact, I had never thought about what a girl leprechaun might look like. It's usually they're boy leprechauns that you see. So what are some of the things that you guys did today to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? What did you do at school, Miss Rainbows? We did a word church and some activities. Okay, because it's unusual. You're not usually at school for St. Patrick's Day, right? Usually yeah. on, uh, usually on March break. <laughs> yeah. Tell your teachers they've been talking to you. It's true, the government did move it though. I'm not very happy though. I know you're not very happy. I don't Some think of they're. My, my classmates aren't very happy either. Well, I can imagine there's not a lot of kids who are too happy about that in Ontario, about it moving. I don't know what it's like everywhere else. You guys have uh, your spring ba breaks moved, or if you're taking them anyway. So I know a few of our friends are taking them anyway. Some of the friends in my class are joking around about taking about everybody not showing up um, on one week that's not even March break to make up for March break. Well, you guys are going to get it in April. It's happening. It's just not happening when you want it to happen or when it normally happens, which isn't nice for you guys or for your teachers who work so hard to help you out. That's okay because we get to do fun activities. It's true, your teachers have been very good, your school has been very good to give you guys some fun things to do. Like tomorrow, um, what we're going to do is we're going to get a whole extra hour outside. See, that sounds like fun. Maybe you can talk to my boss and ask if I can have some a whole extra hour to go outside. You go outside when you want to go outside. <laughs> it's true, I'm my own boss. <laughs> I am working on a very special project, which I can't tell you about, but I'm so excited, so I have to do a lot of work. I cannot take the time to go too much outside. I will go outside for breaks, because it's good to get outside, walk around, get some exercise. I'm going to make it mine, Leprechaun, with his red hair, because that's kind of what we associate with Leprechauns. And I think it's kind of cool because then it's all the colors of the Irish flag are on there. I don't know. Maybe it's not why it is, but that's what it makes me think of. I'm going to give him a little... The 15 minute drawn, 20 minute drawn leprechaun. Ooh, has it already been that long? 
20 minutes, yeah. Whoa. Wow, I know. We did our shamrocks in like no time at all. I started drawing my shamrock before. I want to go too peachy on this guy's face because... There's bubble wrap on the floor. There's bubble wrap on the floor because I was packing things. Bubble wrap. Packing things, bubble wrap. Don't pop my bubble wrap. That's important for packing things. Oh, can, I, can, I, can I wrap myself in bubble wrap? No, do not wrap yourself in bubble wrap. <laughs> hey. I'm going to be sent off. Don't send you off. You're not on my store. I'm going to be sent off. Somebody's an art piece. Ooh, quite the art piece, that's for sure. And I did make you. I am your mama. I am your mama. <laughs> I'm not giving you up. Are you kidding me? Here you go. This is my little leprechaun who is not really paying attention to his gold. He's just standing there. Oh, look at your rainbow. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. I'm glad that my markers are getting good use. I'm going to fill this in just a little bit. I'm giving a little bit, leaving a little bit of the white on the edges just to give it that, that shine. Excuse me. And I'll just make some shamrocks around this guy. some cards for my art card project which is uh, themed was Egypt last or January I'm gonna be doing some mask cards I'm gonna be doing some winged figures and what I do with those cards is I trade them off with some friends around the world other artists around the world it's kind of a cool project that's not the one I can't talk about, obviously, because I'm talking about it. Hopefully I can talk about the other one soon, though. Because that's so cool. Alright, that's my quick sketch of the little leprechaun. You're making another thing? What are I'm you making? making? a night themed flower. Oh, a night themed. On the top of the leprechaun. I can't wait to see that. That will be a lot of fun. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the other shape of shamrock that we, got, we might all be more familiar with. Maybe I should do a few of the color of the one that I have downstairs. We have downstairs. We have my shamrock. It's the house's shamrock. No. It was given to us by our friends. They said it. I know, but thought it was my shamrock. You look after the shamrock, so he hit that that the plant. I don't even know what to call the shamrock. She. She? Shamrock. Shamrocky, I think is what you call them a bit. Yeah. Called them a bit. Is this color. This is purpley color. It's really neat. Mm -hmm. Shamrocky is three years old this year. She is? Mm hmm. Whoa. So 
which is the longest I've ever kept a house plant alive in this house. I care for it most of the time. You help me water. We both take turns. But yay! There's there is a whole bunch of shamrocks and a whole bunch of gold for my little friend. That would look kind of interesting. Could you imagine if we drew shamrocks all over the place in this sort of purpley maroon color? Would make my day. <laughs> I have a lot more maroon and purple than I do green. But uh, part of why we do that is because a lot of uh, the shamrock species that you find in Ireland are indeed green. Especially around this time of year. Or spring. Sometimes our little shamrocks get this little tiny touch of an olive color in the middle of them, just like that. How's yours going? Well. It's going well, but it's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you know what? Next week is the 24th of March, and I do not have a draw with me kids edition topic picked out. Who wants to comment the topic in the comments that we can draw next week? Yeah. Let us know if you have your very own topic that you would like to do. I know that we have a friend who wants to do Star Wars, and we That's are coming. I'm going to do that in May, May 4th or fifth in our case but uh, if there's some other topics that you want to take a look at let us know maybe we can do some of our old favorites as well such as the whales because I know a lot of you guys really 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 liked drawing the underwater scene and drawing our whales maybe guys have a favorite animal like I know we have a friend who loves giraffes and has asked us to do giraffes a couple times I think we have done giraffes twice now we don't mind because that we makes our friend happy once. well we did horses giraffes and zebras yeah, that's one. and then I was asked to draw a giraffe during our ah oh, yes I remember. or giraffe or during our you pick the topic day We are going to do some Easter stuff as well. We did rabbits last year, right? Yep. So we'll do some Easter stuff for next next month. But as long as you guys are interested in coming to see and draw with us, we will continue to do our weekly show and put it up on YouTube for you as well. Do you have a request, Miss Rainbows? I want to wait to see if anybody else has a request. I'm oh, okay. Fair enough. But I had an interest in wanting to know how to draw this for a while. Well, maybe what we'll do is we'll let our friends have until Friday this week to give us comments. And if we don't have any comments on Friday, Miss Rainbows will pick for next week. If we get comments after Friday, then we will put them in our list of things to do. We'll turn that into some shiny gold lines.
I didn't. I made him a little uh, more svelte than I normally make my guys. I'm gonna take my color folder. Oops. Up here. And while we're waiting for Miss Rainbows to finish up, because I think she's almost finished. Yep. I'm gonna show you guys my other ones. My other Here's my there's my pest and the leprechaun smoking together for a sticker for my patrons. It's also our uh, coloring sheet coloring page on patreon.com. And the Patreon again together. Yep. And there's my shiny sticker. Strangely enough, that that month last month, there's the other one. My three stickers all got voted hmm. for. So I had to do all three. There right. was a tie between two and then I voted the other one. Yeah. Oh, she made it a three way tie. <laughs> she gets the tiebreaker. Alright, so I'm gonna save this. Uh, yeah. I am. Just color a little bit. You got a color? You're almost done? That's okay. I want you to have some fun there. And think about those topics of what you want to do next week, guys. Because we will keep a list of what you like to do handy so we can have some fun with you on how to draw using our simple shapes. I can see better and then you guys can see my screen when I'm close up to it. Mm. I said Friday we get to watch a movie. Mm. Have you guys voted? Did you guys decide? Yeah, we decided yesterday. Oh yeah, you told me. Actually, we decided. On Monday? On Monday. We started to decide on Monday and then we finished it on probably on Tuesday. I'll just join another another bearded fellow. <laughs> I love it. And then I love doing like super bushy eyebrows on uh, on my leprechaun. And I always imagine leprechauns have like if they didn't have a hat on would have unwieldy hair or something like it would just be everywhere I just imagine that that might not be true that's just my imagination just sort of have hair everywhere sort of go with their their wildness so that would sort of be my without a hat leprechaun I put hair everywhere <laughs> We're just waiting for Miss Rainbows to finish up her drawing. Oh yeah, I like this guy. I like this side guy here. You should like all of your drawings. I kind of do like all of my this drawings. But I like this guy. It sort of feels much more relaxed. Like I drew him a little bit more relaxed as I warmed up a bit. Things felt a little easier. My quick drawing of a of a leprechaun without his hat on, and how kind of miffed this guy is that he doesn't have a hat. He's not that miffed. He's just a little mischievous, right? Ah, that's my story. I'm sticking with it. This is me going wild, going wild.
There it Disney is. Rainbow, and then I have some special coins all around. And it's splashing out. There's my shamrock. And I have like a butterfly car. And then there's my girl shamrock, leprechaun. Whoa, neato. I like her. And then my leprechaun, some different shamrocks. And then this fellow I did without his hat really quickly at the end there. So, boop, are you getting your hands cleaned up? Yep. So thank you guys. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope you're having a very wonderful and lucky Happy day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And again, if you've got any ideas, let us know by Friday in the comments below. Um, for our YouTube friends, I uh, don't know if there's comments on because we're we're in the kids, YouTube kids, so they might not let you comment. That's okay. If you know where our Facebook page is or my Twitter page is or any of those things, you can let us know on our social medias. If there's any ideas that you guys want to draw. If you're having trouble finding the Facebook page for a YouTube friend, it's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us for the one year anniversary of Draw With Me Kids edition. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and hit the notifications bell. Doing all these things, you'll never miss another Draw Me Kids Edition episode ever again. Thanks again, and we'll see you next Bye. time. Bye! Bye.